Hello everyone, uh, here's our next, or actually our final uh, screencast as we prepare for the contender. We're going to look at the heroes and influences uh, for the main character uh, in the story. And uh, because of the technology that I have right now, the program that I have, I cannot easily show you the video in the screencast. Uh, the quality of the video is just not good enough. so please refer back to the email that gives you the links to these screencasts. It also has links to the videos that uh, I want you to watch to give you some idea of what we're talking about. The first big influence uh, for our main character is Joe Lewis, the boxer Joe Lewis. Joe Lewis was the past or the history of boxing for uh, blacks and African Americans uh, in America because he was able to fight whites. Uh, he represented, that, represented them uh, to the white community uh, and uh, gave them a great deal of pride. Uh, here's just a picture of him training uh, outdoors. Please note that all of the people watching him except for one gentleman here are white. Joe Lewis was still during the era, era of Joe, uh, Jim Crow laws and so he was adulated by the black community but also by the white community but he had to uh, live pretty much in a white world and act uh, in a very reasonable and conservative way. Uh, you'll see most of the opponents that he fight, fights in the videos um, are white opponents and so he was kind of the groundbreaker uh, of this. So fighting became a way to get out of the black community and into the white community, become accepted, to get money, uh, and a certain amount of prestige. So you'll see that in the videos. Just take a second to look at that. The other big influence on uh, the main character is Sugar Ray Robinson. He was more the present uh, of the 60s uh, for them. And Sugar Ray Robinson was a bit of a different uh, personality. Uh, civil rights had begun, uh, the black community had become larger, and a more important percentage of the population uh, in the United States. But don't ever forget uh, that even at this point uh, in the United States, the black community is only uh, around 20% of the population in the United States. So it's never gotten to a majority status, never gotten to the point where it uh, has a real uh, significant impact on the overall community or culture of the United States. Uh, but Sugar Ray Robinson was, and you'll see a little bit in the video that I've given you is that he's fighting first more blacks uh, as you can see that but you can also see that his personality is a little more extravagant he can get to become a little more uh, extroverted a little more outrageous uh, he's a more of a smiling character uh, joking character likes to have fun a little bit more his clothing is a little bit more outlandish and uh, uh, extravagant and outrageous. Uh, he tends to have a little bit more fun uh, with the community. You'll even notice in the video that he does a uh, some playing around with uh, some some kids I think in the video. Uh, so t pay attention to that uh, as you can see the differences in them. Uh, some people who might follow boxing might have heard of Cassius Clay or Muhammad Ali. Uh, he was the future at that point. He started coming up through the ranks uh, at this point uh, and actually became more important or prevalent uh, after the story takes place. Uh, so I don't want to diminish him but he doesn't have as much of an, inf of an influence uh, on uh, the character and the story as uh, we might think or might hope. But uh, Cassius Clay was also a very extravagant uh, character, much more so than even Sugar Ray Robinson. For next class, think about some of the heroes and influences that you have in your life and that surround you today, uh, whether it be sports, art, music, uh, skateboarding, snowboarding, whatever. Who are they? Uh, and what influence do they have on you and your culture? think about uh, that because it's in the context of the culture that I want you to look at these fighters and what's happening uh, in the main character's uh, world at this point. 
As per the previous two screencasts, be prepared to talk about your heroes and influences. Compare them and contrast them to the two given here. Are your heroes doing the same kinds of things as you? Do they have the same uh, restrictions or abilities? Or uh, can they be their real personality? Uh, do they wor work in two worlds? Do they work in your culture and a different culture? Uh, example, a lot of the skateboarders and snowboarders uh, do come from Quebec uh, and are francophone, but then they end up living in Southern California. Uh, do they live in both worlds? Do they live here in Quebec uh, and their French roots, or do they give them up and move to Southern California and become, you know, Californian and, and th th those kinds of things. So please take a look at, at those things and again be prepared to talk. Remember we're going to talk about Coney um, and these three screencasts so we're not going to talk about any one subject for an extremely long time. Thank you very much.